So really, when you uh, set a pumpkin, you want uh, several things. What those are is you want to have protection from the soil. You want the mill fabric or what you're putting the uh, pumpkin on to be porous, and then you also want it to be able to, the pumpkin to be able to slide and grow easily. So what we do is we have the S-curve created. What Jay and I do, we take uh, some insulated board, which is keeping the soil away from the pumpkin. Jay took a drill and made holes in the piece of styrofoam. That way the moisture can drain off. And then we put two mill fabrics. We, the reason we do that is if we need to adjust this, the one mill fabric is going to slide on the other fabric, which is nice. This is what we get. You can find it on bigpumpkins.com for sale and different people sell it. This, I traded a pumpkin start and I got this mill fabric, but this one is the one that's more readily available on, the, on bigpumpkins.com. If your pumpkin's growing on the dirt, it's gonna catch some of the dirt and it's gonna be concave. A concave pumpkin may lose 90, 100, 150 pounds. If it's up a foot, you want a good flat bottom so that fills in and gives you more weight. And then we just did a kind of a little mini mill fabric. An idea that we got from one of our growers is he goes and sets three or four pieces of styrofoam underneath the pumpkin that's already given it some of its height as it grows will slide those out. I've been at a way off somebody brought a pumpkin to the way off we picked it up to put it on the on the scale and three mice ran out and those mice had gone underneath the dirt had dug up into the pumpkin and they had a big hotel in there so this kind of halfway eliminates uh, bugs and stuff coming up through also it's porous so the water can uh, drain out with the holes he put in the styrofoam plus it's the mill fabric water just goes through it. Some people put sand just on top of the soil that's another deterrent and also it's porous so you don't have problems. We feel as if this uh, this mill fabric is slippery enough we don't put sand. This pumpkin I think is on day 18 it's grown real well we've got a good uh, a good lift in the vine it is already raising but there is slack in the vine because of the S curve. So we feel good about that. So then we're trying to keep our canvas there, keep it dry. So this we call setting the pumpkin.